Hey guys, it's time for my fourth Project 20 pan update. I can't believe we're already at four. It has been, I was looking back, I think it's been about five months now or a little over four and a half months since I started this Project Pan and I still have quite a few products that I need to use up. But I used up four this time so I'm so excited. I will link my whole Project Pan series with all of the Project Pan videos down below. So if you want to see the other products that I had in this challenge, you can go ahead and check out those other videos. I'm going to go ahead and go to the products that I used up in the last three, four weeks. And first off, I used up the Smashbox Pink Sugar Lip Gloss. This was kind of like a deluxe sample size. I'm pretty sure the regular size lip glosses are about twice this size. But this had a ton of product in it, and I loved this. The consistency was amazing. It felt so comfortable on the lips. It was a really pretty uh, color, just like a light pink. And it made your lips just look really juicy and full and plump. And I will definitely be interested in picking up more Smashbox lip glosses after using this one. I took out the stopper so that I could try to get as much product out of there as possible and I pretty much scraped it all out. So done with this one. I used up my ColourPop eyeshadow. This is so awesome to have used up a full eyeshadow. I can't even tell you the last time I've done that. And this is kind of like a cream finish so I haven't done all that in a really long time. I think one of my, oh my goodness, the last cream eyeshadow that I've used up I think was a MAC one. It was like a white base and I loved it like years and years ago but this is in the color truth I will totally repurchase this in the future it was a great one just to kind of lay down as a base and I used it all up I have an unfortunate kind of fail when it comes to using up a product this is the julep this was the nail therapy and I went to use it yesterday and it has totally dried up if you <laughs> it's just it's just hanging out there it's basically like glue at this point like super glue so definitely unusable again tried with uh, some nail polish thinner to see if I can make it better again kind of give it some life again and it's not having it so I don't know if it's because it's gotten really hot in Arizona all of a sudden it's kind of the summertime or if just when you get towards the end of these type of polishes like the nail bases or the top coats that they really get really tacky I'm not sure let me know down below because it's been kind of a bummer and kind of a um, trend I've been seeing with my nail polish. Next my Collection 2000 Concealer in Fair. I scraped this one out as much as I could. If you can, um, if you were right here with me you'd be able to see that it's completely see-through and there's basically nothing in there. There might be a little bit in there but at the very bottom but I'm not gonna cut it open just because I've dipped into it so many times I just don't think that anything that's left in there is probably too sanitary so and I've been breaking out lately so I'm gonna go ahead and toss this one as being empty and we'll get to the products that I still have uh, to use up. First I have the Julep uh, Quick Dry Polish Drops and I have just a little bit left in there. It's really hard to get into the dropper at this point. Just probably about six manicures at most left of this and I'll be done. Have you guys found a um, quick dry polish drop that you like as well? Because I want to repurchase another one after this. I think it was OPI or Essie that I saw had one. So if you guys know of a good one, let me know. I have the Stila One Step. I have made a little bit more progress with this. This is the third week and then this was the fourth update. So just a little bit. I tried doing it with uh, foundation. It made my skin just a little too oily, so I'm gonna have to just continue using it as a highlight. And there's still a lot of product left in there, but I'm making progress, so that's good. I hardly picked up my Rimmel eyeliner at all in nude. I don't know why I haven't been. I think I've been concentrating on my black eyeliner, the Urban Decay one. So I haven't been using this hardly at all. So I don't think I'll finish this up in the Project Pan, but I'm still going to try to get as much of it done as possible. The Urban Decay eyeliner in zero. This is how much I have left. I've been using this as a base actually recently and been putting it all over my lid and then putting a um, shadow over top and I really liked it. I actually did that today with the purple uh, grifter color from Urban Decay. So I think that I will hopefully have this done by the next update. This is getting so cute. I love it. This is the Cottage Cheese NYX cream stick. It got a little smashed by the cat, but I am getting down really low with this. I can't imagine that there's too much more left to sharpen just because when you get to the end it gets really hard, but 
love this and I've been using it almost every day as a base for my eyeshadows, especially the really glitter ones from um, Urban Decay. This one, holy smokes, I don't think I will ever use it. The Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, I mean, it's insane. It looks like it's nowhere close to hitting pan. I swear, these little deluxe samples will last you forever. So I'm still going strong with this. I use it every single day just to warm up my face, and it's probably never going to get pan. I think it's like a sick joke that I just keep on getting a replacement of it or something like that because I don't know how you can use something for so long and not get to pan at all. So that one is insane. You definitely get your money's worth. The Bourjois Healthy Mix Gel Foundation. This is another one that's going strong. It has actually just recently, the last couple days, been a little bit harder for me to pump. I've had to pump quite a few times to get product out, but product is still coming out. So this one still have product in it. Don't know how much because you can't see with the packaging. And then my Maybelline Dream Mousse in Peach Satin Blush. I thought that I would be done by this update, but I still have a bit in there. I use this every day as just a cream blush, and then I put a powder blush over top of it. I really like this color. I think it's really flattering, and it's very just kind of healthy on the skin to wear by itself or as a base. This is what is left of my Rimmel Mauve Shimmer Lip Liner. Love it. Wear it every single day, typically every single day, especially to work. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful everyday color. So almost done with that. And then my MAC lipstick in, what is this one, Overtime. I tried to attempt to make the marks on there. It's just hard because it's slanted. Um, but this is the third update and this is the fourth update. And rolled up. This is how much I have left. I really like pairing this lipstick with the lip liner. I think it's a really pretty everyday color. I have noticed though with this lipstick that when I do wear it, it soaks into my lips very easily and it gives a nice really pretty kind of almost matte look. But I tend to, at the end of the day, my lips really hurt. So I think that this is kind of drying out my lips and I don't have like the best reaction to it. But it's nothing like damaging or anything like that. I just have to put some lip gloss on or some chapstick and I'm good to go. So I'm going to continue uh, using it, but I won't repurchase it in the future. So that is my update number four. Let me know if you guys are doing a project pan of any kind. There's so many cool like challenges and tags out there. So any kind, let me know down below. I'm currently doing the finish four by 4th of July that Amber F created. So very excited to do that in addition to finishing up these products. So push the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye!